Well, happy Sunday, Eastern Carolina. It's been a quiet month tropical wise for all of the Atlantic Basin, but things are starting to become alive a little bit here. Uh, you may have seen some pictures on Facebook or online of a potential system here as we head into the next seven to 10 days. And the National Hurricane Center does have a 40% chance of a development here over the next seven days, but still notice over the next two days, a 0% chance. Once it does start to develop, models will have a much clearer picture of it. But right now it's just a cluster of thunderstorms and off to its east, there's a tropical wave that it will try to combine with. And if it does develop here, especially as we head into the midweek, it will continue to push off to the west. We do know that. But impacts could range anywhere from Texas to the Carolinas. So right now, take anything you hear with a grain of salt. But of course, it is a good time to uh, have your preparedness kit ready here. So again, that will potentially be our next name, which is Debbie on our list. And the time frame would, for that would be early the next week. So the first full week of August here, Monday to Wednesday time frame again. Not necessarily direct impacts to Eastern Carolina, but something we will closely be watching here over the next few days. Right now, it was a beautiful weekend across the region. 86 in Chacoinity, Cypress Landing Marina with those still waters. Marine conditions also looking good. You can see all the sunshine across the East Coast, some drier air wedged in place, but we are tracking an upper level low lifting north, and that's going to bring in some humidity here, switch our winds around as we head into the next few days. Uh, lots of rain showers across the Appalachians right now, but we do stay dry for about the next 24, 48 hours here. And the only thing we are tracking is still some river flooding. And many of these uh, flooded warnings go until early to midweek or f until further notice. So all the rain that we've gotten, our rivers, of course, tend to have a delayed response. So places like Chinkapin near the Cape Fear River in Duplin County, again, adjacent creeks as well. Might have to watch out for some overspill onto some roadways. Jones County as well, near the Trent River, Pitt County, Tar River near Greenville, and also up towards Tarboro there in Edgecombe County. So we'll continue to keep you updated when those do drop, but right now they are at minor flood stage. So if you live anywhere near there, plan accordingly. Clear skies for the rest of the night. That'll set us up for another really refreshing start tomorrow morning, dropping into the 70s quickly past sunset and tomorrow morning back into the 60s again. This morning we got into the low 60s in some spots, mid to upper 60s tomorrow with a little bit of patchy fog inland again, possible west of Highway 17. We will see clouds start to increase again from that disturbance off to the west. Maybe a spotty shower west of Highway 17 through the afternoon and evening, but the air is going to be a little bit too dry for that to reach the ground. So tomorrow, primarily increasing clouds here. You see from west to east and highs due to that into the mid to upper 80s. So another day, a couple degrees below normal, still pleasant humidity. But as we head into Tuesday, notice the winds out of the southwest, and that's just going to uh, spark up our humidity and heat as we head into the rest of the week. And only isolated thunder shower chances. Don't let it fool you here. Maybe a tenth quarter of an inch here and there starting the midweek through the weekend. So we can definitely handle these numbers that's seasonable for us here. The big story will be enjoy the temperatures now because the 90s return heat index values over 100 possible by midweek. And then heading into next weekend, tracking another cold front.